going for a walk I actually haven't done before, although I'm familiar with the area. That's uh, uh, well, uh, 2,000 foot or more slopes going up to the top of Minith Maur, Minith Maur in the Nantal Valley in uh, North Wales. Fantastic scenery. Unfortunately, there is a bit of a breeze has sprung up. It was very calm when I started out from a house this morning, but uh, right there's the end of the Nantal Ridge there. Yeah, look at that. And, yeah, fantastic mountain scenery. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to walk away from the mountains and try and, as I say, I haven't been on this particular footpath before. But um, <clears throat> I'll go up here. You see, you can't uh, really beat this for scenery. The Nantal Valley, and in the background, and the, in the background there is Snowdon. Uh, okay, I'll park just down there, about uh, oh, about a hundred yards away. There's a <laughs> kind of bit of an eyesore van just parked in front of me. Uh, some someone else, but um, someone else stopped there to take. Uh, photographs of the scenery. This uh, this uh, good good track here uh, goes uh, to a campsite. Uh, unfortunately, my uh, the View Ranger app, which I use to kind of uh, navigate my way around, has been replaced by <coughs> I think it's uh, was it uh, I can't remember now. Computer Active, I'm not sure. Uh, by another app. I haven't quite used to got used to working that yet, so. Uh, I think it's a fairly straightforward uh, <coughs> a footpath, but I'll, it goes to that lake over there. It goes around the other side of the lake and through uh, the village of uh, Nantel. The Nantal Ridge, excellent. Okay, so, um Continuing on this track, wide track, there's uh, there's a nice nice little campsite right there. Uh, some people here, uh, so uh, look at that fantastic position for a campsite. Yeah, and of course this is um, still a little bit on the chilly side, but um, it's um, 18th of March and. We are forecast, we forecast to have a few uh, sunny days. The next few days are going to be sunny and a little bit warmer. So um, <clears throat> this will bring people out, especially with the weekend coming up. Going through a farm here, these very farm buildings. And hopefully I, uh, hopefully the, uh, well, the track or footpath will be obvious. I, I say I didn't, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's a couple of uh, walkers, well kitted out, uh, taking advantage of this good weather. There's the lake, so I know I'm all right. Uh, I'm on a, a trodden footpath, uh, but they're they're probably here the first time. 
first time is because they asked me if there was a pub in the village of Nantle uh, for a pit stop, but um, <clears throat> I said, unfortunately, I don't think there was. It's the Nantle Valley up there. And this is um, quite nice uh, farmland here. Well, oh, for sheep, of course, they don't grow. It's not arable farmland. Breeze has picked up again. Uh, <clears throat> okay, over there is a row of uh, quarrymen's uh, cottages. Uh, right there, quarry, quarrymen's cottages. Because all this used to be uh, uh, slate quarry, quite quite substantial slate quarry area, and all these uh, provided uh, jobs for uh, back in the 19th century. For thousands, thousands of uh, thousands of people. Okay, what I'm walking on now is part of the Snowdonia Slate Trail. Uh, that's why I decided to do this walk because it's a <coughs> an official long-distance walk. You see it's kind of muddy, the winter the winter muds. And of course the combination of sheep and uh, sheep and tractors makes it pretty uh, muddy going underfoot. Other than the uh, muddy track, uh, an excellent walk. Uh, and they got a, a nice uh, substantial uh, uh, footbridge here as well. Uh, Crossing over this mud patch here, <laughs> yeah. Nice footbridge here. I can see the uh, the walkers, uh, nicely outfitted walkers, taking a break in the sun. And why not? Why hurry on a day like today? And with this mountain scenery in the back. I haven't come that far. Only about well maybe a mile, no more, and uh, as it's nice and sunny here, I'm out the wind, I'm going to take a, a short break. Uh, there's the lake. Uh, that's, um, what is it? Uh, Clin Nantle, I think. Clin Nantle Ishav. Ishav. Yeah, quite a, quite a large lake. That's the only uh, disadvantage to this walk, very muddy tracks in places. Uh, so, um, navigate my way through this and uh, uh, come to the end, come to the road. So, from there it'll be, well, plain sailing. Isn't it so muddy here? You've got this construction machinery, they're doing some work here. Uh, yeah, but. Uh, I'm on the authorised path. As long as I don't go for a burden, end up in, in the mud. Okay, that's the end of the uh, muddy section on this walk. Uh, okay, so. Uh, a fantastic day, really. Uh, so on this uh, so-called secondary road here, which uh, leads into Nantle Village, it's got a nice grass verge on. But I don't think it's got much traffic on it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Re-entering the Snowdonia National Park. Does this say, uh, can, uh, can, 
spot the uh, spot the mountain. Yeah, Snowden, of course, right up there. The village of Nantel. Okay, so um, now there is a 500 year old cottage, T Mauer. Uh, I don't know if uh, this is private, I'll just see if there's any access to it. I'm not going to. Uh, looks like a pretty nice track here. I'm still looking for this cottage, but I won't go any further. Uh, there is a footpath which goes along at the back of these houses. That uh, so, uh, oh, I say it's not. Uh, I don't want to risk uh, upsetting the locals by. Uh, okay, part of the Snowdonia Slate Trail again. But I'll be going, turning right through the village, and uh, carry on from there. You can see why these villages uh, exist. Look at that slag heap there, at the, uh, the right at the back of the village. Chimney sweep is parked just outside there. Here's the uh, yeah, the local church. Blink if you if you, when you pass through the village, or you could you could miss it. This would be a nice uh, position for a pub here, overlooking the lake, uh, and with the mountains in the in the back, the Nantle Bridge. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Looks like looks like there's two halves to this village. I'm entering the second half here. Nantle is served by a bus. Comes from Carnarvon, the nearest uh, town. In the village of Nantle, there's the village school there. <laughs> I don't think it has many pupils. They are closing down all these little village schools. Uh, sign of the times. Now there's a monument. I look at. I can't remember. It's a jubilee of some kind. Victoria, Victoria's jubilee, maybe. Right there. Can you see it on the top? It's a monument right on the top of one of the uh, mountains of uh, of Nantle Ridge. Because this isn't a very busy road, so there's no uh, footpath on the side, but but I'll be all right. There's very little traffic on it. Okay. There's the lake. There's that farm I passed uh, uh, not long after I started the walk with the uh, campsite or caravan site next door. I am ready now for another break. Uh, this would be a nice place to have a break but uh, I can't see any... Well, these rocks aren't suitable to sit on. So uh, I've only... Well, half a mile or so now from where I parked the car. Now, a few years ago, I would have been, uh, yeah, I would have been doing walks. I'd be up there on the uh, the ridge tops, doing a traverse of the ridge, the Nantle Ridge. Yeah, it's uh, well deserved. Next to the Snowden Horseshoe. One of the best mountain walks in North Wales. Okay, I'm coming to the end of this walk. My car is just around the corner there.